different clash here at home tonight over an effort to fill a seat on Mecca's board. The proposal failed at City Hall today, but Council President Pete Festerson still has high hopes for Dana Washington. She's an attorney with Mutual of Omaha and would be the first black woman to serve on Mecca's board. Okay, TV News Watch News Dave Roberts broke the story last Thursday at 10, and he is live now with new developments. Dave? The Omaha taxpayers, this story affects you. It's Mecca's job to keep Omaha's largest sports and entertainment venues profitable so your taxes don't go up. Tonight, the Mecca board and its latest potential member continue to be at the center of a po political battle. By council rules, you have to. Omaha take City Council Democrats hope to appoint Washington on a 4 3 vote. Only problem, four Democrats did not show up for the meeting. It fails on a 3 3 vote. Thank you. Six months before the end of John Lund's term on Mecca, Democrats line up his replacement and the votes to make it happen. The move startled Republicans on the council who say today's failed vote exposes the partisan push to appoint Dana Washington without vetting a pool of candidates. We have always in the past at least had three candidates that we're selecting from. Um, we do have one good candidate. It came up at the last minute. And there were at least three of us that weren't aware that we were even considering the Mecca board replacement at this time. The wish of Republicans won't be the will of the council. Council President Pete Festerson says his Democrat colleague Chris Jerem will formally reintroduce Washington's appointment at the next meeting. There's still strong support for this candidate, and the majority of the council will still support this. We hope there'll be consensus on it. Amy Melton says she likes Washington, but dislikes the political strategy being used to push her onto the board. This comes down to process and transparency. It really has nothing to do um, with the, the single candidate that we had in front of us. This was following every tradition that the previous mayors and councils have done. And when a majority of the council says they want to move forward and with a candidate, as we heard today, and I think we heard everybody say positive things about the candidate and her qualifications, that's when we move forward and that's what we're doing. They expect the city council to have a revote on Washington's appointment at the December 9th meeting. And I'm being told other people who want to be considered for the job may come forward before then. Back to you.